Son of man, can these bones live? Jewish Catholic dialogue over the years has fostered greater understanding and cooperation amongst the two faith communities. While the relationship between Jews and Catholics has been historically complex and marked by periods of tension, in recent decades there's been a concerted effort by leaders from both faith traditions to improve relations. Unfortunately, since the attacks in Israel by Hamas on October the 7th, the Jewish community has faced increased persecution. The 35th World Day of Catholic-Jewish Dialogue was celebrated this year with an attempt to foster greater interreligious dialogue. The Diocese of Rome, with members of the Episcopal Commission for Ecumenism and Dialogue of the Italian Episcopal Conference, and members of the Assembly of Italian Rabbis and the President of the Union of Italian Jewish Communities, organized a conference at the Pontifical Gregorian University on January the 17th under the theme of hope. The theme is precisely resurrection, the recomposition of the people, and therefore a vision of hope. As mentioned, we are not yet ready for this. There is an ongoing war, and there are hostages. The suffering persists. Rabbi Ricardo Di Segni explained during the conference how a mixture of religion and politics could contribute to a fracture in the bond between Catholics and Jews, but also expressed his clear intentions to mend this fracture. Firstly, engage in dialogue, exchange ideas, make different sensitivities understood. For this is a problem that, in some way, with the harshness of war, has been relegated to the back burner. In the current situation of conflict, they also discuss the role of faith in promoting peace. The crucial takeaway of this day of Catholic-Jewish dialogue is the imperative for a genuine commitment to dialogue, listening and mutual understanding. At this moment, it seems that faith is doing everything it can to avoid promoting peace. Therefore, we must strive to reclaim, within the scope of our faith and the realm of experiences and religious culture, everything that fosters respect for others and the growth of humanity.